Welcome everybody to my wind turbine presentation. Um, just that you can see, I've put this turbine which I designed and built on a stand here. I've got another one which is actually in the top of our garden which is on a 10 meter high pole where it catches a lot more wind. And where it of course also runs much much faster. But um, in this video I want to explain how this works. So we can see a part, I'm, I'm actually going to go a bit closer here and stop it from turning. So we can in the front here obviously see the blades that are carved out of wood with an airfoil shape. So that's more or less like a, an aircraft's wing. The wind then drives the alternator which generates three phase um, electricity. Now the way that works, we can see here where my finger is pointing now, there's a blue disc um, and at the back here there's a green disc. So on top of a blue disc, the blue disc is uh, made out of steel and then it's got a piece of nylon screw to it. Within this white nylon there are magnets uh, with alternating polarity, in other words north, south, north, south. The same thing at the, at the back here as well, we can see it has a green disc which is also steel and then we've got um, another nylon disc also with magnets in them with alternating polarity. Um, basically the magnets always face each other in opposite direction, in other words you have a magnetic field that joins hands if you want to say that like so you've got say north here south here and then <clears throat> in the middle here we see this red stator ring within this stator ring we've got coils of copper wire which then connect to each other and we have at the bottom here where my finger points now we have got the three connections for a three phase power. So the faster the alternator turns the greater the voltage that's produced. What happens then is the alternating current runs down these three cables which go down the center of the tube which allows the whole machine to swivel itself into the wind. The way it swivels into the wind is by using the tail vane here so the wind basically just automatically faces the machine into the oncoming wind. It's got a safety feature um, if the wind gets very very strong then eventually it, the machine turns very very fast and um, it basically the stator gets warmer and warmer it gets to a point where it goes so fast but it would turn so fast where the heat gets so immense that it actually would uh, burn the stator out and for that not to happen it's got a furling system where the vane actually folds backwards and how that actually works is that we can see the vane is not mounted in the middle of the machine it's actually offset so what happens is as the wind pushes very hard from the front eventually the machine actually folds backwards and the whole vein goes like this so the wind turbine ends up running sort of 45 come 50 degrees to the oncoming wind as the wind then dies down again it basically folds itself open again and goes into um, the normal position so what we basically have got here is the turbine blades uh, directly driving a low speed alternator which I've uh, built myself. What else of interest can I show you? So the way that this whole thing doesn't jump off the end of a pipe is you can see here's like a ring with a groove in it and a pin that sits in it so that actually stops it from jumping off. The power, as I mentioned, runs down these three wires um, 
and at that stage it's of course free phase alternating current when it gets out so there's not too much we can do with it it then runs through a three phase rectifier to make it into direct current um, which I can then charge a 12 volt battery with um, and that's the way we charge a battery at our house in uh, conjunction with solar panels so also important here to note um, I'm not trying to sell anybody a wind turbine it's a lot of work to actually make it this is more like a hobby come an interest and uh, yeah hopefully somebody is interested in the topic involved perhaps this might be helpful for you I think one can also infer many of the working principles which are in this let's call it a model to uh, large wind turbines hope you enjoyed thank you for watching